Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we're back for the next video in my series of dollar store Christmas item pour overs. Today I'm doing this glittery star ornament. I took the little string off. There is obviously glitter on here, so we might get that into the painting, but that's okay. I'm gonna put a little bottle cap under here just to raise it so it's easier to take it off the canvas when I'm done. I didn't wanna raise it too high, but I did wanna raise it just a little bit. And I'm gonna use a color combination that I don't think I've ever used, which is just white, black, gold, and silver for this one. Now, stay tuned all the way until the very end because I will be showing the last project, which was acrylic pour over a little Christmas tree. I'm gonna show that all dry, okay? And if you didn't see that last video also, link will be in the description. I'm not going to use too much black, just a tiny bit. And then the rest will be that white, gold, and silver. And this is going to be very interesting, I think. I think the glitter will not hurt it if it does actually end up coming out of there. Okay, and lastly, just a little bit more black. All right, that should be plenty. Now this isn't very sturdy on here, so I'm gonna have to pour kind of carefully and slowly to hopefully not knock it off. Try to pour semi-evenly here. Both the silver and the gold can tend to take over a lot, which is why I put that white and a bit of the black in there. Wow, that looks awesome already. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit here for a little while. We'll let it drain, we'll let it move. I'll go ahead and speed this part up so we can watch it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully lift this star up. Even the star itself looks pretty darn cool. Set that off to the side to dry, and then lift up my bottle cap. All right. Now we go ahead and tilt. So as always with a design, I'm gonna try to keep it. So I'm gonna kind of tilt it towards the points of the design. Now this is a star, which is always a little bit difficult because it's not just tilting towards the corners. There's five points here. So. I'm gonna take my time. It's gonna take me a little bit. I'll speed this up. All right, there we go. I love this. I feel like it looks like an exotic stone or something. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit here for a little while and then we will come in for our close up. All right, let's do our close up here. So I think this is just so gorgeous. The black did come out more than I intended, but I absolutely love it. I think this is just beautiful. I, this is my favorite side over here, is the right side. Look at those gorgeous lines. And overall picture. Super pretty. So as promised, I'm going to show the last project dry. The last one was pouring over a tree. So here is the canvas all dry. It definitely grew on me. I really like it. And definitely a lot of people said, oh, it looks like a poinsettia. And I totally agree. It really does. So there's the painting. And then the tree actually really surprised me. At first I hated it, but it too has grown on me and I actually think it looks great. I might add some glitter on it, but I think it's awesome. And you can still see the light through it. Changes colors. So cool little Christmas decoration. Now let's say you did do something like this and you didn't like it, you could always just paint the tree afterwards. But the whole point of these is to get the different patterns on the canvas not to paint a cool object 
<laughs> when we're doing like a vase or something, the point is to paint a cool object and then you get a bonus canvas. For these ones, the goal is to have an awesome canvas. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments and stay tuned for more coming up in this series. I'll see you guys next time.